today we are at the House of Shameless, but we weren't always here. We were actually in my house before moving into this space. But a lot of you guys want to know why I even have an office. Why do I have staff? And I will address that here in this video. So if you guys have watched my very first video, that was uploaded in 2012, and it all started out as a social media experiment on what would happen if I shamelessly promoted myself. We are now four years in the game, and I have an office, and it's just like, why, girl? Well, if you understand why I started, which was because I was a struggling artist. I could not book work as an actor. Like the effort that I put in wasn't what I received. So I was like, you know what? I gotta do this differently. I gotta go about this differently. So I started this YouTube channel and it's brought me to this place. And now I'm just reevaluating four years after. And I'm just like, I started this because I couldn't get a job acting and now I have acting jobs landing on my lap, literally. I really wanna focus and redirect my energies into pursuing my dreams that I had once upon a time that I kind of put on the back burner. So that's part of this whole shenanigans as well as the workload that a lot of YouTubers get. I do a lot of traveling for work. I do a lot of events, a lot of brand deals. Previously, I kind of slowed down on those, but brand deals require so much detail and organization. I have social media obligations. I need to make sure I have certain points that I hit in my videos, in my tweets, in my Instagram posts, in my Facebook posts, hashtags. There's so much that happens and it can be overwhelming. There was a point that I had seven videos that all had to be organized and I've been working with my friends and my family who have been so awesome but I just didn't feel it was fair that I put this burden on them. So my friend Shannon, you guys know Shannon, uh, she suggested that I hire an assistant. And oh my God, I love you Shannon, thank you so much. She really helped me find an assistant. She, I did the post, but she went through all the emails, she screened everyone, she did telephone interviews, and then she set up meetings, and that's how I found Nati. And she was found on entertainmentcareers.net. She's awesome, she's amazing. She was hired on as my executive assistant, then moved into the role of a production manager, and that's what her role is today. She was employee number one, and then from there I gave her my top five that I wanted to achieve, my goals, and then she helped to make those happen. Um, what do you enjoy most about what you're working on or your job? I think just everything in general. I like everything Don't about kiss. my job. <laughs> well, there's a the thing. I, I think I do a little bit more than just production manager. I, yeah, I do a lot. Yeah, so that's what, what do you do? I <laughs> what don't you do? <laughs> oh, I came in as assistant. Yeah. And then that later evolved. I also styled you. Then it just like anything that would come through, I would just help you with. And then um, that eventually led to a promotion, which is production manager because we got an office and staff. You needed someone to, you know, organize and help you with all of that. And I stepped up to the plate. And so whenever you're not here, I am. And I love it because I learn from you a lot. Um, and so just that back and forth interacting with you is everything. So I really appreciate it. <laughs> now the first thing on my plate was to get me away from editing. I can easily spend my entire life editing day and night, but if I'm trying to act, I have to take my energies from filming and editing and put them into taking acting classes, to learning my lines, to studying my craft. We need an editor because I do the editing, I do the videography, I do everything, I do it all. <laughs> I hired an editor and his name is Tyler. And what I love about Tyler is he is me editing times 10. He's way better than me, but he has the same vision, the same attention to detail. Just, he's awesome and amazing, and I love that we somehow managed to get together. Hello, hello. Hey. We are filming. You match <laughs> the sign. Pink on pink on pink. What's Giving up, you layers of pink. So, what do you enjoy most about editing? I love putting together something that someone can just click and watch and you don't have to go through all the raw footage and like look at everything. You enjoy because, that? 
<laughs> then the next hires were Miriam and Teal. And we hired them as summer interns. Miriam was great, she was talented, she's no longer with us, she went back to school. But her role here was very much a creative. She was taking a lot of my photos uh, that are on my website, that we've posted some on Instagram, but she's awesome. I miss you, I miss you girl. Teal, she started out as our intern and now she is our administrative assistant, which is a fancy title for like, do it all. And that's the thing that I love about both Nati and Teal, even the interns that are here, we multitask, myself included. I do whatever, I, I take out the trash, I clean the bathroom, I edit, I, I do it all, so I expect the same kind of non-ego. And that's what I love about Teal. She, she just rolls her sleeves up and she does the work, but the summer is over, the internship is done, and we gave her a position here now. So Teal does a whole lot. She does social media. She does even calendar yeah. work. Oh, and you also do a lot of um, creative for engagement with you booze. Oh yeah. You do. How to like, how to better awesome. connect. Yeah, connect to them, have conversations with the booze, and and think and thinking of ways to like incorporate the booze into the brand and allow them to feel like they're a part of this shameless journey. Then we hired yet another editor because we have a lot of videos and shows that we're trying to produce and it was just too much for Tyler and Tyler was only in here three days a week. So we hired Leah and Leah is Tyler's bestie roommate and now she works here with Tyler and myself and they're they're amazing they're so talented they get it she has a, an amazing sense of humor great timing and she's very like efficient super efficient what are you working on just working on Maya's world just your life in video form you know what what is the difference between like editing stuff here versus another place like I'm curious like the space <laughs> so we actually have to interact with each other some good human interaction <laughs> and what do you like most about editing I think once you get to the end and you have the footage that you actually want to use and you've already set up the narrative it becomes fun because then you just get to finesse. Next stop, we have the interns. We have new interns. Summer is over, Miriam's back in school. Teal has a position, a paid position here. So now we need some interns. Cause I'm big on giving people an opportunity just to see how all of this comes together. And what better way than doing an internship for either a school credit or a paid internship. I do not, I'm not down with freebie nothing, okay? Get it for a school credit or at least get paid for it. And that message is to other companies and brands out there. Stop freaking running these people into the ground and not giving them anything but an opportunity. Oh please. <laughs> Anyways, so we hired Brandon and Susie. They're so cute. They're so polite. They're so fresh. And I'm so like, oh. <laughs> I've been around the block. <laughs> So I'm Brandon. I'm one of the two fall interns that works with Team Shameless. What is your job? Like, what do you have to do? I help set up the studio, um, maintain the office space, um, just whatever needs to be done, I'll do it. What would you say you've learned in your time here? I'd say so much, just like within less than a month. I used to think that it was something simple, that something that took like an hour or two to do. And now I realize it's so much dedication so much work and um, I find like a really, a greater appreciation for it. And how did you get this job? I was looking on Twitter and I saw that Maya had put out, what's it called, an advertisement in a sense for an internship for the fall. And I had just started college, so I was like, I'm, I have three days a week a free time, so might as well, I have nothing to lose. And I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Suzy, and I'm a new intern. I'm really excited. Yay! <laughs> How did you hear about us? Um, I looked up through internqueen.com. Mm -hmm. You can find a lot of amazing internships there. And yes, now the only thing that I still do is this. I do a lot of the videography, but we do hire freelancers. We've hired freelance editors before and shooters, videographers, cinematographers. Some of those include Chelsea and Alice. And then there's Emily. So Emily, she's been doing a lot of stuff here. Editing, sound. Sound, yeah. And she just moved here. From Michigan, Ooh, Midwest. 
Chelsea's done our lifestyle video, so that was with Blogilates. Um, she's also shot my lookbook, super talented. This is Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea is a talented, what do you go by? What's your title? Uh, I would say cinematographer. Cinematographer. But I also gaff and do lighting. No, edit too sometimes. But you were doing DP on God Complex. So that's how I know her. Got snagged her up. And then there are a bunch of people that are not even working in this office. That include my attorney, Daryl D. Miller. But I love that the staff here are reflections of me. I'm like, I see you. I see me and you. I love it. So what are we busy doing? What keeps us going from day to day? And that is filming The Slumber Party here on my channel that I am hoping to sell to television. So that's part of what we do. We will not only shoot here, which requires like a crew of people. We have all of the staff here on a camera. Me and Shannon are also bouncing back and forth to make sure the exposures are right. Nathy will organize scheduling and time. She's also one of the producers here on the slumber party. And then we have Maya's World, which is vlog footage from my day-to-day -day life. There's a lot of footage and it can be a while to get through but we do that as well as my tech videos. And these are things that are here on my channel. Then we're also pitching shows to other channels, other networks that are not up yet, but will be. I'll let you know when that happens, but we're constantly producing and creating content. The mission statement here at House of Shameless is to abandon fear and live out your dreams shamelessly. That is what I'm about. That's what this whole channel is about. And that's what I encourage even you guys watching I encourage my staff here. That's the mission here. That's all I care about. Yes, I do care about numbers. I care about all of that. But more importantly, I care about inspiring you guys to live your life to the fullest. And in order to do that, you gotta let go of that shame. You gotta let go of that fear. So um, advice for people that kind of want to get into production, they don't even know where to start. Take the things that you're good at with like the least amount of effort and add like skills, add like tools, like learn more about them professionally and how other people do those things. So my advice to do what I do, I would say is just work, work, work. Like don't put any limits on yourself. Don't say, oh, I can't do that because I don't have experience or I didn't go to school for that, so I'm not gonna do that. You know, I've always had this frame of mind of like, I can do anything and if I want to do it, I just gotta set my mind to it and then go out and find the knowledge for it and the experience for it. It's all about starting from the bottom. Now we're here. Well, now, that's what I've been saying. <laughs> you know? I said I started from below the bottom in a basement. <laughs> yeah, we all have like our point, wherever your bottom is, like it's taking that bottom and just like learning to grow on your natural talents and, and what you like to do, what makes you happy. And if it's 5,000 things, okay, fine, take, take it one at a time. What kind of advice or tips do you have for people that are curious about editing or production? How can they get in? Um, don't do it because there's already enough editors <laughs> and I don't want any more competition. <laughs> Thank you. A serious piece of advice if you are interested in editing, there's a lot of freelance and project by project opportunities. So it's not the same security as maybe some other positions in the film industry. You just have to be very proactive about booking your next job. You gotta keep hustling. Word of warning, <laughs> if you wanna be an editor. Hustlers only. <laughs> but the good side is that um, if you do wanna be an editor, it's amazingly creative. I would say just put yourself out there, be brave, shameless, and um, you have nothing to lose. If applying is your biggest fear, then you have to make sure that you can face your fear with that and then just do it. My message for Teen House of Shameless is thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys have no idea how grateful I am to have you with me on this freaking roller coaster of a ride. And I want to inspire you to live out your dreams. This is a stepping stone. This is a platform. I do not expect you to be here forever. I want you guys to achieve whatever it is you're trying to achieve. And if working in this environment and space will inspire that, will show you the work ethic involved, the demands, the discipline, the the faith that is involved to get to your dreams, that's what I hope to impart on you guys. We are creating 
inspiration. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the love and support. Make sure you guys follow us on Instagram, House of Shameless, and you can see the behind the scenes of what we do here. And we're also thinking about having like a Snapchat takeover for you guys so it could be you involved in the House of Shameless movement. If you wanna go fast, go alone. If you wanna go far, go with team. Team Shameless, y'all. Remember to do you, be you, and stay true, boo. Be shameless. Be fast, be fabulous.